Hi, this is Rob. We're going to update the camera firmware on the Insta360 ONE X 360-degree action camera. Just as a reminder, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel to see more videos about the Insta360 ONE X camera. When I received my Insta360 ONE X, it already needed a camera firmware update right out of the box. It was a minor update, but I will show you how to check for updates and how to update the ONE X camera firmware. There are two ways to update the camera firmware. The first method, and the preferred method in my opinion, is to connect the Insta360 ONE X to your smartphone with the cable and update the firmware through the Insta360 ONE X app. The second method is to go to the Insta360 ONE X website and download the new firmware to your micro SD card and insert the card into your Insta360 ONE X camera. Then connect the ONE X to the computer. In this video, I'm going to show you the method using your smartphone because I'm having trouble with my Windows computer recognizing my ONE X camera. Instructions on how to update the firmware are also located on the Insta360 ONE X app. Find the instructions in the app, open the app, and go to Tutorials here. Go to Basic up top, scroll down. Here's the tutorial on how to update the firmware in case you need it. But this video will cover one of the methods to update the ONE X camera firmware. First, to see if you need an update. Go to the Insta360 ONE X app and connect via Wi-Fi to the camera. Then go to Settings, which is this button here. Then go to this About Insta360. This page appears. Here's my current firmware version, version 1.15.12. Now tap on this to go see if there's a new firmware update. This page appears. Here it states that there is a new firmware update. The new version number is 1.15.17. Right here it tells us what the new firmware update does. Scroll down to read the complete update. This update adds a new mode to reduce motion blur. While using this mode, video recording quality will marginally decrease for indoor and low light shooting, but motion will be smoother. To toggle on off this mode, go to settings, Video settings on your camera display, toggle to shutter fast to reduce motion blur, and toggle to shutter auto to shoot without the blur reduction. Okay, that was the description of the update. After we update the camera, I will check that this update works by going to the video settings and see if we have a shutter fast and a shutter auto. Okay, let's get started and update the firmware. But we can't just click this button yet. Right now we are connected with the smartphone and the camera via Wi-Fi. We need to connect the smartphone with the camera with the cable that was applied with the camera. I'm going to use this USB Type-C to macro USB cable here. This is one of the four cables that came with the camera. I have a LG G5 Android phone. So connect this macro USB side into the camera. I will connect the USB Type-C side into my phone. I will turn on the camera. Now I get this message on my phone. You may or may not receive this type of message. It says open Insta 361X when this USB device is connected, I will tap yes. The Insta 361X app opens up. Tap the settings here to go to the settings page. I am already on the settings page. Tap here on about Insta 361X. Tap here on firmware version. This page appears. Tap on update firmware. This page appears. Then we tap on this downloaded. It should not say downloaded. We have not downloaded anything yet. But when we tap on this, it will download the firmware to the smartphone. So tap on downloaded. It is downloading the firmware to the smartphone.
After the firmware is in the smartphone, this window appears. Now press the upgrade button to transfer the firmware to the camera. It is now transferring the firmware to the camera. I am not going to speed up this part of the video so you can see how much time it takes to transfer the firmware to the camera with a connected cable. When the firmware is in the camera, we get this message, waiting for the camera to restart. It says it takes about one minute to update the camera. When the camera restarts, I get this message on my phone, open Insta361X when this USB device is connected. You may or may not get this message. I will tap OK. The Insta361X app opens. You can see here on the firmware version we now have the updated firmware. OK, now we'll go to the camera to check if the new firmware works. I will go to the settings by pressing the lower smaller button. This is the settings icon. Press the upper big button to go into the settings. The update had to do with video settings. So I will press the big upper button to go to the next field. I am now in the video settings. So we'll press the smaller lower button to move down the video settings. And there it is, shutter fast. That is the new update. I will press the big upper button to see if there is a shutter auto. And there it is, shutter auto. OK, we have confirmed that the update worked. That is it for this video. If you have not bought the Insta360 ONE X yet, or know someone who wants to buy one, please use the link below to buy directly from the Insta360 company. If you use that link, I will get a small commission and you will get a free Insta360 selfie stick with the purchase of the camera. I also have a link to buy the camera from Amazon. You will get the camera quicker from Amazon, but will not get a free selfie stick. If you like this video, Please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel to see other videos on the Insta360 ONE X 360 degree action camera.